Hi everyone, uh, I'm Zoe, the photographer for Fabrics for Sale, and I've been challenged by the rest of the team to make my own pincushion. Um, I'm an absolute novice at sewing, so this is going to be interesting. Um, those of you that might remember, uh, Nisha did a stocking at Christmas, our marketing girl, and she got, what was it, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10? So I need to, I need to better that. Um, so, let's, let's make. So because it's Easter, uh, we're going to make an egg-shaped pincushion. Hopefully it should be a nice easy shape for beginners, like me. Um, we've got this nice Liberty fabric in our new spring summer collection. This is our pattern for our egg shape. And all you have to do is lay it down, start cutting it out. So, egg shape. Um, here's one we made earlier, which is a lot better. Um, and you can see, really better in the pattern, there are tiny notches which will come in use later. So, here's a few others that we did earlier. And we're going to take these up to the sewing machine and we're going to make our eggs. So, as I mentioned, there are three notches on the ends of the pattern. Um, that are going to be folded in and they meet to form the point of your egg. Um, so if you pop them into your fabric and then with the right side on the inside you fold in your three petals to meet. Start by folding your fabric in half, pin your edge and then you can sew from your folded line all the way around to the other side of your egg. Make sure your notches meet. Uh, just leave a couple of millimetres as your seam allowance so that you're not too close to the edge but you don't go too far in so you have an odd shaped egg. So now that side is sewn up, you need to repeat this step. You're going to take your remaining petal, line up your notches, and just sew along one side so that you still have an open gap when it's done. So that's two sides done, we just need to do the last side, however this one we're going to leave a small gap so that we can turn it inside out and use it as a hole to stuff your egg. Remember to line up your notches and just sew along the edge, make sure to leave a big enough gap for your finger. where my little hole is, I'm going to turn it inside out 
and then I'm going to stuff it with my wadding. See that? That is my egg shape. Wadding. If you don't have wadding, which not a lot of people will, you can use cotton wool, you can use other fabric, or any kind of soft material to stuff. Okay, so there's my egg, all done up. Take a needle and thread, just to finish this bit off. I'm going to do an invisible seam. And I only learnt how to do them this morning, so this will be interesting. Edges over slightly so they meet, and then that's where we're going to sew. So, my stitch didn't go as well as planned, but I think you can get the general idea. So that is my final egg hand sewn and ready for pins. Some of you may know our uh, expert Anna from Ask Anna and she's going to tell me how terribly or how well I've done with my egg. Thank you. It's actually really lovely. I'd quite like one myself. It's really well sewn. I hear you learned how to do the invisible hand stitch this morning so you've got to be quite proud of yourself with that. You definitely get a lot of pins in it, so it's worth going. Do you have a score out of 10 for me? I think I'll give you a 9 actually. Yes! That means I win! <laughs> I mean, uh, awesome! <laughs>